On March 9th, 2017, we as a family and we as a community certainly faced one of the hardest experiences, and that was the loss of our son. Curtis was a sheriff deputy for Carroll County. He was in pursuit. A fellow officer had called for help. And, you know, Curtis was the type of person, if you needed help, he wanted to be there. That tragic night, he lost his life. And since then, our world was rocked and has never been the same. Rather than take this tragedy and, you know, crawl in a hole as a family, we felt like this was an opportunity for us to help fulfill Curtis's legacy. Curtis uh, was someone that I was very much impressed with from day one. Fitness was definitely important to Curtis. He didn't know the meaning of quit. He didn't know the meaning of can't. He was a humble person and he cared more about others than he did himself. And so now you fast forward, we have the opportunity to open up Curtis Bartlett Fitness, a state-of-the-art fitness center right here in Galax, where veterans and first responders can come and work out free of charge. We also are open to the public, and so we want to serve Twin County. The average life expectancy is 68 in this area, and Curtis was out to change that. This is probably the best gym I've ever been in in my entire life. I couldn't walk anywhere without being out of breath. I was just really discouraged by my weight. The more I put in, the more I started seeing getting results. I've seen the difference that they make, not just in me, but with everybody else that comes in here. It's their happy place. It's their place to get rid of stress. It's the place to get rid of anxiety. It's like a second home for a lot of us. The way we are able to make that Curtis strong atmosphere here at the gym is we truly don't turn away anybody. We don't care if you're 350 pounds and can't move, I'm gonna help you out and do all that I can. And I think that kind of atmosphere is what makes this gym special. It clears your mind. Okay, when we're working out, we're doing things, we're interacting with people, it clears our mind. And it also helps us interact with the public. Police fitness has been great, not only for the Grayson County Sheriff's Office, but for law enforcement in Southwest Virginia in general. A couple years ago, uh, we started a physical fitness program. Uh, we partnered with Twin County Hospital and also with police fitness. We lost over 200 pounds as a department. When I first came back to Carroll County, I had let my fitness go. I met Curtis Bartlett. We became workout partners, and he helped me transform myself, uh, actually, losing almost 100 pounds from where I was. I'm able to actually run for the first time in 18 years. I'm able to actually squat for the first time in 18 years, things that I haven't done since my son was little. I'm doing again. In the beginning of a journey, especially in fitness, when you've never done it before or you haven't been in the gym in a while, it's really intimidating and it can be discouraging and scary and I just see so many people transform their life because of just the staff and other gym members here are just so encouraging and helpful and that's really something I've never seen at any other gym. Well, we've got even more exciting news. You know, this facility is about 9,500 square feet. It's a little bit chopped up, so we really use less than that. But we have been donated by a group of physicians, a 24,000 square foot building to our nonprofit Police Fitness and Curtis Parlor Fitness. And so we're gonna take that facility, we're gonna completely renovate it, over a million dollars of renovations and improvement. The new facility, oh my goodness, like cannot wait for everybody to come out. This is gonna be amazing. It's gonna take everything that we already offer at CBF and just magnify it. More space, more opportunities for people, more classes, just everything bigger and better, and we couldn't be more excited. When a client comes in, they're going to come into a new fresh space, new lights, industrial look. It will be open. There will be large areas to work, private, clean. Everything's going to be new. We want to be the type of fitness center and health center that reaches out to everyone. We don't care if you've never been in a gym in your life or if you are a semi-professional bodybuilder.
I was a drug addict for 20 years. I <laughs> wasted a lot of time, a lot of life. Now I figured if I'm gonna have an addiction, why not be health and living right? Thank you.